So my services that, that I offer are, are quite varied. I do general urology, but at the same time, my subspecialty is female medicine and pelvic floor reconstruction. Um, so with general urology, that includes everything from kidney stones to prostate cancer, as well as a lot of robotic procedures for prostate cancer and kidney cancer. But more specialized in female medicine, we do everything from urinary incontinence, um, pelvic floor uh, pain in women, pain with intercourse, um, uh, pelvic floor dryness, um, but mostly incontinence. Uh, it's a great amount of women who have incontinence. Probably one quarter of women, 25% of women walking around every day suffers from incontinence of some sort. I, I think the time frame for women or, or men, because we take care of men who have incontinence as well, but I think the time frame for people to present themselves for, for uh, treatment is dependent upon them. The wonderful thing about urinary incontinence is that you don't die from it. But at the same time, it's a horrible thing to deal with because you never know what's going to happen. And so to, to avoid those climactic episodes, I think the sooner that you present, the better. Well, uh, as far as incontinence, urinary incontinence goes, one of the greatest developments continues to be is our minimally invasive procedures for urinary control. Anything from urethra bulking where you inject medication around the urethra to close the urethra to help decrease incontinence, all the way to some of the implantable devices like neuromodulation devices, like little pacemakers that go into your, uh, into your back that helps to modulate your bladder so it decreases the chance of incontinence. From uh, a non-incontinence standpoint, things like for treatment of prostate cancer continues to be our robotic program that allows us to remove prostates for minimally invasive disease. Um, um, robotically and less invasively. But even better is the chance that we are able to now do many treatments of prostate cancer with just active surveillance where we don't actually do anything but observe you. And that has been shown to be very effective. I think the most important thing is to recognize that urology problems are just medical problems. And people have difficulty talking to us about their problems because it's a very intimate problem. Um, but you have to think about it, it's just no different than anything else. If you broke your arm, you would not hesitate to go to see a doctor. Well, if you have incontinence or you feel you have blood in your urine or you have some other suspicion that seems like something you would not want to talk to your friend next door, but it's a significant problem, you should seek us out because we can help you.